Well, what do you want me to do? Just answer some questions? Uh, yeah, we'll uh, just take questions from Coach. Coach, what did it mean for you to get this win today? Well, you know, obviously it's a, it's a special win, but uh, you know, I think it's a deeper, better win for our program. You know, we, we win the bowl game, and we have a chance to have eight wins. And, uh, you know, the whole thing about Maryland, you know, it's, to me it's ancient hi history. I think they got a very good team. It's kind of a little weird. You know, the seniors and the, some of the redshirt kids, you know, were uh, either playing for me as freshmen or recruits when I left. So I'm kind of very proud of them and how they progressed. You know, I, and uh, I think they've had a fine season, and I think they're a very good football team. I've kind of said you would be happy to address the team after a few shares. What you, what you said to them? I said pretty much I just said to you. You know, I, I really didn't want this game to be about me. Um, I don't want our players, I want them to play for themselves. And, uh, you know, I'm just a coach. And I just, you know, want to see them, you know, enjoy winning. And, uh, you know, obviously it wasn't looking good here early. And, uh, you know, I didn't say a whole lot to them at halftime. I just said, you know, we were leaving a lot of plays on the field. You got to catch the ball better. You got to throw the ball better. You got to stop the penalties. And I said, if we do that, we'll be in the game. I said, I'm going to play a lot looser in the second half. So. We're either going to get beat real, real bad, or we're going to come back and win this game. And uh, they made some plays the second half, and uh, really the credit goes to the team. What was it like just coming in here uh, as a visitor? It's different. You know, it really is different. You know, um, I go to the press box, and, and you know, if you know me, I kind of, kind of, kind of focused and you know got my game face on, and, and people are yelling my name out, and, and I really appreciate that. It was very nice. I, I, was a little easier for me after the game than it was before the game, and especially at halftime. So I, you know, I really want to thank all those fans that, you know, they could have been the other way. I, they, they kind of greeted me with open arms, and that that makes me feel pretty good. And it means, they, you know, they appreciated the time I was here. Ralph, long before you ever got here, people wondered how Gary would. Gary Noble would be remembered as Rutgers quarterback. What do you think that performance in this last regular season game said about him? You know, Gary can be a very good quarterback. Yeah, I told Gary at halftime, I said, you can throw the ball better than you're throwing it right now. Play the way I believe you can play. He went out and did it the second half. Um, already, uh, I think he's had a very good year. Uh, he's had some adversity. Um, five interceptions at Penn State, you know, was really a, a you know, costly for us as a game, but when you look back at the games we won, we wouldn't have beat Michigan without him. We wouldn't have won tonight without him. So, overall, I, I, you know, I think he's had a very good year, and and he's been injured. You know, he's been playing on a bad knee and a bad leg, and I think some of that has affected his throwing. But uh, I've really enjoyed working with him. I think he's a fine young man. I think he's really a good quarterback. You mentioned Gary's year. How has this year been for you overall? Different. Um, you know, I coached with Coach Ross for 20 years, and then I went with George O'Leary for four. And of course, George came from Coach Ross, so we were pretty much on the same schedule for like 25 years. And now I go, and everything's different. Everything's new. And not that. Not that that's wrong, it's just different. And, you know, I'm an old dog. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to learn new tricks. But, um, you know, there's some things I like about it and some things I don't. That's just, that's just the way it is. But it's different. And, you know, it's, it's a little bit different when you've been the chief and go back to being an Indian, too. So uh, those, are, those are things that uh, I've had to deal with. But as far as uh, Rutgers, I couldn't have been treated better. They've, they've rolled out the red carpet for me. They go out of their way to help me. It, it's been a really a wonderful experience. I love working with Coach Flood and, and the staff and the players. It's just, it's just a little different, that's all. We've got time for two more. 
Ralph, when you look at being bowl eligible now, as someone that's coached a lot of teams, how big is it for developing and building towards next year, having these extra oh, practices? It's, it's really big, you know. And uh, I think, like I told the team afterwards when I talked to them, I said, you know, if you can win eight games in the Big Ten, you know, you've had a good season. I mean, we played, you know, we went down the Rocky Road now. Played Ohio State away, you played uh, uh, Nebraska away, you played Michigan, you played uh, Wisconsin, and you played them back to back. And, and you survived that because it's a whole different world for, for Maryland's done a great job as far as that's concerned. But uh, to get this win tonight on the road, uh, it really helps our program and I think gives us an opportunity to win eight games. That's you look back, and that's a pretty good season. Are you hopeful that you'll be back next year as well? I mean, is that your plan to be coaching? You know, as long as I like it, I'll do it. Um, you know, I'm getting up in age. Some, some things are a little tougher for me than others. Um, I'm going to sit back after the season, kind of reflect on everything. But, um, you know, I like winning. <laughs> I don't like losing 45-3, to three, though, I can tell you that. That's not in my DNA. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks.